survived three successive waves of colonization by Western and Oriental powers. It is retained and practiced by about 10% of the country's population today. This music highlights the people's passage through every phase of life from birth to death, and reflects their thoughts and feelings, their failures and their triumphs. Rooted in the Asian tradition, this music, which may be instrumental or vocal or both, is found in northern Luzon, the islands of Mindoro and Palawan, and in Mindanao and Sulu. south, two musical traditions may be noted. The one with Islamic influence found among groups such as the Maguindanao, Maranao, and Tausug, and the pre-Islamic found among the Bagobo, Manobo, Bukidnon, among others. Striking similarities may be noted among ethnic instruments from north to south. Their differences lie in the manner of construction, the style of playing, and the sounds that they give. In northern Luzon, from the Cordillera Range to the lowlands, the more important musical instruments are the flat gong without boss, the bamboo instruments, the drums, and the Jew's harp. Widely regarded as the most valued instrument is the gangsa, a flat gong without boss. The gangsas are played at the conclusion of peace pacts, at burial rites, and during head-hunting rituals. This gong is played in two ways, the gangsa topaya, and the Gangsa Palook. In the Gangsa Topaya, gongs of graduated sizes are made to rest on the laps of six men. The left hand taps the gong to make a ringing sound, which is immediately dampened by the right hand as it slides forward on the face of the gong. six or more men strike the inner side of the gongs, allowing them to vibrate freely. Two alternating beats are observed, where each beat is played by a separate group as it dances in a line.
buzzers and sticks and zithers are instruments made of bamboo. The buzzer is known as pakung among the Ibaloi and balingbing or bungkaka among the Kalinga. is played alone or in groups, normally by six players following the musical form of the Topaya Gong Ensemble. It is used to drive away evil spirits along a forest trail. tapered sticks called bangibang in Ifugao is used only in rituals for healing very serious illnesses and in death ceremonies. The bangibang is easily recognized even when played from a great distance because of its sharp clicking sound. The tongatong a set of stamping cylinders consisting of six bamboo half tubes of various lengths with a node base and open at the upper ends is played by striking the base against the hard surface and by simultaneously covering and uncovering the upper ends of the tubes. flutes are found all over the country. The Kalinga Paldong or Kaldong, a Lip Valley flute, has three holes on one side and a fourth on the opposite side. It is played by men during their leisure hours, usually at midday or at night before retiring. It is a favorite serenading instrument of the youth. Like the Lip Valley flute, the nose flute is a popular instrument found in many tribes and is called by different names. Kaleleng among the Bontok and the Kankanai, Tongali among the Ifugao and the Kalinga, and Baliing among the Isneg. The soft and soothing sound of the nose flute may be heard clearly on late afternoons. Kalinga Sagepo calls for ansam playing. These pipes, numbering six in all, are played separately by six performers, each one blowing on one or two pipes. The simultaneous and coordinated blowing of the pipes produces a repeating melody and rhythmic harp-like sounds. Zither is a stringed instrument made from a single bamboo section about three to four inches in diameter with a node at each end. 
which serving as strings are the raised narrow strips of the bamboo instrument itself. Small wedges are placed beneath the strings to produce different tensions and pitches. The zither is known as the kolitong by the kalinga, kolesing by the ilongot, or kalshang by the ibaloi. The Jew's harp is known as Ulibau, Kolibau, Uribau, Abafu, Akpio, and Afiu in the Cordillera. It is a piece of brass or bamboo slit with a tongue in the middle. The tongue is made to vibrate by striking the projecting end with a finger or by pulling the string attached to it. The mouth of the player acts as the resonator. As the shape of the mouth cavity changes, the pitch and quality of the sound varies, thus enabling the player to communicate messages with his instrument. Probably the most important and the best known conical drums of the north are the sulibao and the kimbal. The sulibao is played with open hands while the kimbal is struck with a stick. are usually joined by two other pairs in the Sulibao ensemble, namely the Kalsa and the Pinsak, which are two flat gongs, and the Palas, which are two short iron bars handled by a single player. Characteristic of the South include the suspended gongs with boss, the gongs in a row, the Jew's harp, the bamboo xylophone, the two stringed lute, the zithers, the spike fiddle, the long drum, and the ring flute. in the south have a boss, a mound jutting from the center. Gongs may either be suspended or laid horizontally in a row. Suspended gongs are more numerous, being found all over Mindanao, Mindoro, Palawan, and the Sulu archipelago. Suspended gongs are played in a pattern generally observed among mountain peoples in Mindanao. 
one player plays a recurring sound while one or two other players play a melody on two or more gongs of the ensemble. are gongs laid out in a row. Basically a melody instrument played by a single performer, it may also be played with suspended gongs which provide the drone. The kulintang is made up of seven, eight or eleven gongs of graduated sizes. The melody is improvised after the first tone is played on the middle gong. The Kulintan is found especially among river-dwelling, lakeshore and seafaring peoples such as the Maguindanao, Maranao, Tausug, Sama, Bajau and Yakan, who had more contact with the outside world than the mountain peoples. version of the Jew's harp is made of bamboo and is generally constructed and played like its northern counterpart. The bamboo Jew's harps of the south are known variously as kubing, kobing, kobo, and luding. They have more ornate designs than those in the north. Suspended beams like the kagul may be found among the tirurai and the yakan. The kagul consists of five logs ranging from two to two and a half meters long. the Kudyapi among the Bukidnon, Kotiyapi among the Maranao, or the Kadlong or Kudlong in central Mindanao, are boat shaped and carved from one piece of soft wood with tightening rods made of wood and frets made of beeswax. It has two wire strings tuned in unison, one serving as a drone, the other providing the melody. When the strings are properly tuned, the player plucks them with the fingers of the right hand while the left fingers put pressure on the strings high on the neck of the instrument. 
the Kudya piece used to accompany dance. Moreover, it is also known as a speaking instrument, like the kubi, and for this reason, it figures prominently in courtship. Singing is an essential component of life among the indigenous groups around the country. Night and day, on special occasions or ordinary days, songs are performed in various ways, either solo or in a leader chorus manner, with or without accompaniment, and with or without the benefit of words. In the north, solo singing, leader chorus singing, and singing with accompaniment are observed among the Kalinga, the Ibaloi, and the Bontok. In the south, solo singing and singing with instrumental accompaniment are prevalent. every stage of the life cycle, from birth to childhood, adolescence, courtship, marriage, and death. Come 
pun tuleh lam si Hanaibun Klon begeral gelan gu Maguna wean bule Bangun lotobal burul nabun Nang yufen tiko wakli wol minabun Tebong besami gamun Whether played or sung, the ethnic music of the Philippines continues to live among the indigenous groups which have not as yet been westernized. Ethnic music still reflects native sentiments and beliefs and expresses tribal identity. Philippine ethnic music, however, is a living tradition not only among the ethnic groups. Today, it also serves as a vital source of musical inspiration for the country's contemporary musicians and composers. It has inspired major composers of the 1930s, such as Nicanor Abelardo, Francisco Santiago, Antonio Molina, Juan Hernandez, and many others to create music which express an aesthetic that reaches deep into a more pristine identity and are now considered Filipino classics. After World War II, the same may be noted in the fascination with the ethnic in compositions such as Antonio Benaventura's Mindanao Sketches, Jose Maceda's Pagsamba, Lucrecia Casillag's Divertismont for Piano and Orchestra, Ramon Santos' Ding Ding Adiyawa, Francisco Feliciano's Pok Pok Alimpaco, and Ruben Federizon's Tinig ng Lupa, and many others. likewise served as a vital source for the creation of popular music. The fusion of ethnic musical styles and instruments with contemporary styles, lyrics and themes awaken a keen sense of uniqueness that never fails to inspire and move its listeners. This creative use of the ethnic may be seen in the works of Asim, Pen Pen, Joey Ayala at ang bagong luman. reflects the worldview and values of the country's diverse ethnic communities. A living tradition that sums up the people's hopes and yearnings, frustrations and fulfillment, their failures and their triumphs. It is a heritage that holds the key to the cultural identity of the Filipino nation. <laughs> 